okay it's given that a locomotive with a power capability of 1.5 megawatt can accelerate a train from a speed 10 meter per second to 25 meter per second in six minutes so we have to calculate the mass of the train let's do the first one so the locomotive's power is given that is 1.5 megawatt that means in one second it can do 1.5 megawatt of work uh, mega joule of work sorry so in order to the first one there, there are a couple of ways so maybe i will do both uh, at least i will show the method of both so for the first one what we can do we can write f is equal to sorry p is equal to f multiplied by v we know that we can write that so from there we can write instead of f we can write m a and times v so that is p now we p is given for us 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 m is what we need to find acceleration we can find because we know that train as uh, train speed has changed from 10 meter second to 25 train meter per second to 25 meter per second in 6 minutes that means change of velocity is 25 minus 10 over 6 minutes that is 6 into 60 and then velocity this velocity we have to be careful what velocity we can use so we can use the average velocity so that will be 10 plus 25 over 2 so if we do that that will be m here and 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 times 6 into 60 or maybe just 360 I will write just to keep it short 360 and here divided by will be 25 minus that is 15 times this one will be 17.5 and this one we get 21 into 10 to the power 6 kg so this is one way of doing it another way is since its power is given that means in one second it can do uh, 1.5 kilojoules of work so in six minutes it can do 1.5 sorry into 10 to the power 6 so in six seconds that will be times 360 so that is the time and that work is used to increase the kinetic energy of the train so that will be half m v final square minus half m v initial square so that will be it will be the same thing into 10 to the power 6 here into 360 and here we will have 2 and then we will have m here so vf is 25 square minus this one is 10 square so once we take that on the other side uh, this part I get m to be the same 2.1 into 10 to the power 6 kilogram so that's the that was actually 2.1 I said 21 I don't know what I said here so that's there yeah then we have to find the speed of the train and the force accelerating the train as functions of time so speed of the train as function of time that what we need to find and in order to do that we will do the use the same expression here so that will be 1.5 into same expression of work that's 360 uh, instead of 360 what we'll do we have to find so the train is uh, the velocity is increasing from 10 meter per uh, second 10 meter per second to 25 meter per second in six minutes but if we want to find the change in terms uh, as a function of time what is the velocity at any time within that six minutes so if we want to do that instead of writing 360 here we want to write any t which will be within that six seconds so that's there and that velocity will be that's what we want to find that will be half m v let's call it v t maybe v t square minus half m this will be v initial square so now what we will have 
if we take the half m out and take in the other side this will be 2 into 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 times t here and in the denominator will be the mass which is 2.1 into 10 to the power 6 and here will be vt square minus 10 square so basically I have skipped one step that that was when half m was taken out so it was vt square minus vi square together in parenthesis multiplied by half m and then I have taken the half m on the other side uh, half uh, becomes 2 here and m be goes in the denominator so with that what happens is when I do the cal uh, division here what I get is so I get here 1.43 into 10 to the power 6 t and here vt square minus 100 so vt becomes square root 100 plus 1 point sorry 1.43 1 1.43 1 into 10 to the power 6 times t is the velocity then we need to find the force accelerating the train in order to do that what we will do we will use this just this equation so p will be now so again p is equal to f v and v is a function of time so f will be here p which is 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 and divided by this one which is 100 times 1.43 into 10 to the power 6 t of course that is in Newton and this one was velocity so this one was meter per second so in standard unit everything um, yes so the last part is find the distance moved by the train during the interval so in order to do that what we can do we can just find the average velocity and multiply it with time and we will get the distance traveled so distance traveled will be average velocity multiplied by the total time so average velocity will be 10 plus 25 over 2 just like before times this is 360 seconds because 6 minutes so that is 17.5 times 360 and I get 6300 zero zero meters so that is the average distance uh, that is the distance traveled by the train